Hey everyone, it's Miriam, and for this week's video, I finally have a sketchbook tour to show you. Um, this sketchbook in particular is one of my all time favourite sketchbooks for a bunch of reasons. First one being that um, I'm, I wasn't used to working in an A4 sketchbook, and I chose it for because it was cheap and for some reason I just felt like it so I bought A4 which is usually a bit problematic for me to carry around which I usually need to do quite a lot but f but this time round I managed to fit it in, in my bag and carry it around a lot and for some reason it just worked that format just worked really well for me and I really enjoyed working in it plus the paper is quite thick so I was able to do quite a lot of gouache paintings in there and a little bit of watercolour and some pencil and pen so it worked really well for most of the meters that I used um, as far as sketching goes I think if I did a, a more watery uh, version of my paintings it probably wouldn't hold up too too strongly but it held up really really well for sketches which is just so so cool because it just makes things easier to not have to think about what I have to use in it um, you can see that it's a bit buckled and that's because uh, I spilled tea on it <laughs> in the beginning of its life. But I actually quite like the weathered look because for me it feels like I've properly used something when it's a bit weathered by the end of it, <laughs> especially sketchbooks. Um, and then another reason why I really like this sketchbook is because it kind of marks a point in my art artistic development where I finally got comfortable using sketchbooks, using studies and thumbnails and writing down all my ideas and before like about a year ago I used to do sketchbooks but it, it took me years to fill them in and I just did not know really what to paint in them. I just preferred loose pieces of paper but as soon as I started working on bigger pieces on concepts that were really my own and weren't just copying references or practicing this this sketchbook kind of embodies that point in my in my development where I decided that I was going to be properly well I, I was going to properly study what I wanted to paint and make it a good piece a good finished piece by the end because I didn't used to work with film nails at all I didn't used to study my big pieces I just jumped straight in and whatever happened happened um, but since a few months ago I've started being more serious about the, the development of my pieces and this sketchbook embodies that part of me that feels a bit more professional and, and, and a bit more put together if that makes sense. So yeah I also completed this sketchbook a lot quicker than I usually complete sketchbooks. Don't really look at this which says October 2016 to March 2017 because I bought the sketchbook in October 2016 but didn't actually I think I did one or two two pages maybe one and a half page in October and then I didn't touch it until December and so I properly started this sketchbook I'd say around Christmas of 2016 and then I finished it uh, last week so March 2017 so it took me about three months to finish this book which is the fastest I think I've ever completed a sketchbook in my life uh, <laughs> so that's an achievement in itself for what it's worth um, so yeah, let's jump straight in because I think this video is going to be probably longer than my usual videos So I don't want it to be too extensive Although do let me know if you guys quite like long sketchbook tours because I've realized on the internet quite a lot of people seem to like extensive sketchbook tours um, which uh, I understand I'm I don't know if uh, I'm capable of talking for that long, but we'll see <laughs> Let me know so quick word about the cover uh, these two sketches the sketch on the back and this painting on the front both done in gouache and were the last two paintings I did in the sketchbook so I filled the entire sketchbook and then uh, at the end I took some time to uh, paint the cover itself even though it was completely falling apart and I had to tape it together uh, <laughs> but I just wanted to keep you know it's brown paper you know how I like brown paper it's perfect for gouache and therefore some gouache. They were really quick sketches, uh, gouache sketches. I didn't really pay too much attention to the concept. It, I was just trying to be a bit looser and have fun. So yeah, let's go into this. Um, this is just a, uh, a cutout of a, a newspaper that I really liked. I've got to just stick it in there. Again, taped together because it's falling apart. Um, 
it's been it's been banged around quite a bit because I have it in my bag all the time. So this is the first page that I did in October 2016 where I started the 100 challenge where you just pick something and draw 100 things of 100 iterations of it to practice and get better at them. So obviously my first choice was hands because you know everyone loves drawing hands and actually I genuinely love drawing hands. It's like I mean, they're my favourite part of the body, I think, um, along with eyes. Um, because I think if they're done well, they can give so much personality to a character and they, they I'm, I wasn't, I'm not very good at doing them well. So I wanted to master them a bit better and actually know what I'm doing with them rather than just copying shapes that, I, that feel a bit absurd. I wanted to be able to, you know, tell where I was going with, uh, with drawing a hand. So... Uh, I went up to seven on those ones and I think this and the sketch on the next page that I have hidden unfortunately because I can't show it to you are the two things I did in October 2016 and then after that it's just straight up Christmas and then January February much um so here we go Christmas Eve 2016 <laughs> So I went up to 20 for those hands and these sketches were really really quick, they were 2 to 4 minutes I'd say uh, because I wanted to be to try and practice quick quick sketching of stuff I wasn't familiar with. So quick quick drawings of hands from reference, all the hands in this book are from, are from reference by the way. A lot of it not my own hands because I'm not that creative with hand positions and it's also a bit difficult when you don't have practice with hands to keep a position for 15 minutes uh <laughs> well not quite that long but you know what I mean so 2021 20, and then this is a sketch that I can't show you because I did it while I was on set for a tv show that I was working on before Christmas and I although the sketch doesn't really reveal anything about the show uh I just don't want to get in trouble or get my company in trouble because it there's a very 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 high uh level of secrecy and on on most shows and this one in in, in particular so i just didn't want to get anyone in trouble here we go um this is just a quick pencil brush pen i actually haven't used that red one again ever because i didn't like the red but i should I actually quite like it now so it's quick, quick tiger sketch, a little India ink sketch of some manta rays, the picture that I saw on Instagram. And then this starts the um, invasion of the thumbnails, which there's quite a few in this sketchbook because I started working on quite a few big pieces in this sketchbook. And these are two pieces. I haven't painted this one yet because I'm still thinking about the idea and I think I want to change it and I'm not entirely sure I, I like it anymore. You can see that I have annotations everywhere and that's because I get just a flood of ideas all the time so I have to write it down or I'll forget them. And a lot of the time I don't actually use a lot of the annotations in there. I don't actually um, pick up on those ideas again. But I like that they're there because it, it has happened in the past where I would look up on a note and think, oh, it didn't work for the piece I intended it for, but now I think it would work for the piece that I'm not actually working on. So, you know, it's always good to keep track of your ideas because I get that moment, you know, when you go to bed and then you have that um, spark of inspiration suddenly, you've just put your head on the pillow and your brain just goes, oh my God, I'm so inspired. And I, I know I should you know, have something to write them down and stuff, but come on, it's it's bedtime. I never have something to write something down next to me. So I always think, oh, it's, it's I really like this idea. I'm sure I'll remember it in the morning and obviously I don't. So I'm trying to get into the habit of writing my ideas down because as much as I'd like to trust my brain to remember them later on, I'm pretty sure it won't because I have an absolutely terrible memory. So yeah, quick little sketches of that piece more hands went up to 29 on that one and i started drawing the hands with my palomino blackwing 620 pencil and as you can see it gets a bit dirty because the pencil is actually quite soft and so what i do pretty much with all the pages in here actually because i use it i either used gouache the palomino pencil or the color raise reds 
or blues and all of those kind of rub off because they're fairly soft and chalky for the gouache um so i have to um set it with some hairspray i use hairspray because it's a lot cheaper than using like professional artist fixing spray so more thumbnails a creepy sketch some animal sketches that I because I wanted to just practice doing animals more because I don't actually draw animals a lot and I think I need to practice that a whole bunch more uh, a very wrong sketch of I have no idea what because I have no idea where I was going with it and I actually didn't really go anywhere with it which is good because all the proportions are wrong and more animal sketches again with my palomino pencil practicing anatomy trying to make the anatomy look more gnarly and less smooth um i don't know if i succeeded but uh you know i'll keep practicing more hands i mean i reached 100 in this sketchbook so you're gonna see a bunch of those i went up to 37 on this one this is actually part of a video that i'll link somewhere here i suppose um together with the painting on the next page so this is quick gouache practice in smoke more hands went up to 49 the other part of that video so where i did a bunch of clouds i find clouds really hard for some reason i never really paint them and i just find getting that that you know fluffy texture really difficult but also really interesting to paint because the light with clouds is everything and I just wanted to practice that more and I actually want to do some more skies because I don't know I just like to paint everything and practice everything so skies are on the list uh, something I need to practice a bunch more in my life that I never really did in the past are expressions so these are from reference obviously I mostly work from reference i'll let you know if i don't uh this is a piece that i did vaguely from reference and uh, not completely just inspired myself from some bits for a series that i want to do that i have annotated up there i have my first big piece for that series all stretched and taped to its board so i can't wait to start that one because I really look for, I'm really looking forward to the concept for that series. I've never done a series before and I, I'm i really looking forward to starting to work on this series in particular. So I don't like this sketch but I like the concept and so I think I'm going to try and do a few more around this idea in the future. Two monochrome gouache paintings. Um, this lady is a video up there somewhere oh i'm not getting right here somewhere uh i wanted to add this one as a video but i wasn't actually that happy with the painting so i didn't in the end um i don't know it was a great practice but i think i need to do some more monochrome paintings because i didn't achieve the looks i wanted with those i need to go back and do some more um another sketch of here so this goes with this concept here still haven't drawn that up bunch of annotations for it these are body studies for another piece that i'm doing the one that i've got taped up and stretched i was trying to decide which position was going to work well for the concept these are from reference and uh and so I was practicing a bunch of positions for it. And this is our sketches for that final piece. So I, you can see I chose the lady. Well, okay, yeah, I chose this lady in the end. So, and then I drew the old lady without reference. And um, I can't wait to start painting this piece. I really, I'm looking forward to this one for some reason if I don't ruin the whole painting we'll see uh this one is the one and only sketch I did for my golden boy painting before I started painting it I, and from this sketch I just jumped straight into the painting afterwards hands up to 56 for this one this 
is a piece a sketch for a bigger piece that I want to do and I did some bunch of drawings with pen outlines on the other side and then used my fixing spray and it all bled through so you can see the other creatures everywhere bye live and learn so pen doesn't take to fixing very well I did not know that now I do I want to do this piece I really do, but it's going to take quite a lot of sketching, I think. I'm still not very happy that with that sketch, so I need to go back and do some more experimenting. Plus, I want to change the creatures. I like the idea, but I want to change up this concept a little bit, make it maybe a bit more sparse, or the concept design for the creatures to be a bit different. I've never been really good at coming up with alternative body types, and... So creatures are a good practice for that. I, you know, again, talking about that cartoony style, I say I don't want to do it, but for some things it just works really well. And I think for creatures, you have to have that kind of slightly cartoony touch to them to emphasize body parts and go a bit caricatural with them for them to be, to look grotesque and strange and otherworldly. And I've never been really good at that. I had difficulties um, separating myself from conventional um, body types and find found it difficult to come up with ideas for creatures and this page actually is, to me is a bit of a turning point because I just took an hour and spent the entire hour drawing a bunch of creatures and I'm actually quite happy with them they actually turned out better than I was expecting myself to do because I think they're all a bit more varied and the positions are fun and they're a bit different to what I usually do and I was actually quite happy with them you know uh, as progress I just saw progress in the way I work and it felt good I don't know if I'm making any sense I hope I am maybe I'm just rambly so yeah a bunch of little creatures I want to do some more because ultimately creatures are just my favorite thing ever uh, <laughs> and I quite like to incorporate them more in my work but I needed to be able to come up with ideas better before I incorporated them in my work so as not to have creatures that were a bit too cliche if that makes sense so hopefully in the future there'll be more uh, more creatures um, more hands up to 63 this time this is a list of all the ideas for pieces I have which is why I've got a post-it here so I can remind myself that they are there so I can look them up later on because I'm not very good at letting go of things, so as soon as I've got an idea that I like, I just... That's it. I'm going to have to do it at some point. I can't just give up on it. I'm, I'm just not good at giving up on ideas I have. Maybe I should, because it stops me from moving forward, really, to have this pile of ideas that I definitely want to do. But, you know, we'll see. I For the moment, I'm not very good at letting go. Maybe I'll be better in the future. Just practice at moving forward um some little weird mermaidy concepts i never paint mermaids but i see a lot of people doing them and although they're not really my favorite type of creature i i think they could be an interesting thing to paint because i think they've got great texture and movement and and so i i thought i'd try out some concepts maybe in the future uh, more hands everywhere up to 72 this time this little lady you might recognize because she is my preparation concept sketch for my coming of age painting which was on the red card that i posted i think two or three weeks ago something like that i don't remember something like that uh, and because i had really a distinct idea of what i wanted to draw this is literally the only sketch i did for it only preparation sketch and then i jumped straight into the painting after that um hands 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 more hands up to 90 so we're getting there uh a bunch of thumbnails this is for a piece that you'll see on the next on a few next pages afterwards that i i have to do a bunch of studies for first because i feel like i'm biting off a bit too much more than i can chew with it because there's a lot of things that in it that I haven't really practiced before, such as lighting and water and trees. 
and so I have to practice this one, but I really want to paint it. And it's, it was supposed to be for a smaller, simpler painting than my big pieces, and it turns out it's probably one of the most complicated ones to date. Uh, <laughs> This and uh, more concept sketches with loads of concept notes for I think there's three different pieces that I want to paint in here. And my final page of hands. Quick hand concepts here in pen with a little bit of pencil and a sketch. And these four were my final, 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 final hands um, and modelled on my own. So for this one, I held up my hand and because I was a bit quicker at sketching hands by that point, it was a bit easier for me to just hold the position and sketch myself real quick. Um, and I coloured them in with some watercolour pencils because initially I wanted to add water to it just to see because I want to practice with watercolour pencils a bit more because I just I like I like drawing with them, but I'm not very experienced with them at all. But in the end, I kind of quite liked it the way it was. Um, I quite liked the striated texture and I don't know, I quite enjoyed the look of them like that. So I just left them like that. Yeah, a hundred. Now I'm going to go on to feet. A <laughs> hundred feet, which is going to be proving more difficult, I think, because I don't, I don't, I'm not experienced with feet at all. At all. So these pieces refer back to the, this page. So this little guy here, these studies here, go with this page of thumbnails. And this guy here is a study for this piece here. So I can't wait to paint that one actually. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to painting that one. There's always a risk I'm going to ruin it by painting them. But you know, I can never know until I try, so can't wait to try it out. Page of concepts. Um, this I'm going to paint later today in film and then post it at some point in the next few weeks on the pink card, I think. And then the rest is just a bunch of concepts, studies for this, study for this, for the turban, the headscarf. And my least favourite pages because they're the end and all I wanted to do was finish the sketchbook and so I didn't really focus on those pages much. I tried that thing where you just draw a random shape and try and find and make sense of them and I hate it to bits. Absolutely hate it. But hey, it was an exercise I suppose. And this drawing I want to do as a bigger piece, although I have to change my position and I think the proportions are wrong. And there's a bunch wrong with this sketch, but I like the idea and so I want to redo it properly at some point or another. But I need to take proper reference pictures for it first. So yeah, this is my sketchbook for the beginning of 2017. <sighs> Hopefully that will mark a turning point and I'll start filling sketchbooks in a lot quicker because I quite like doing sketchbook tools. It's like reviewing my own work for the past three months and seeing what I've improved in and what I still need practicing and it's quite fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that I wasn't too rambly or, or um, you know, didn't go off onto many tangents or didn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't know, let me know if you enjoyed this sketchbook tool. Um, and I want to thank you all my new subscribers for joining me. <laughs> it truly, really, it means so much. Um, I'm always bewildered at having new subscribers. It's just, it's just such a big compliment. Thank you, you helped me to keep going with this. And um, yeah, I recommend you guys follow me on Instagram if you don't already because that's where I would be posting most, most of the sketches that are in here and unfinished things and work in progress and studies that I don't record for YouTube and things like that. I also, you know, do a bunch of non-YouTube paintings on um, Instagram and things like that. So I recommend you guys follow me on there if you want some bit more casual daily updates about my art. And um, 
other than that, yeah, thank you a bunch. Thank you for watching this. I hope you guys are all really, really well and um, that you're all having a lovely day. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone.